Why do I look so pale? Am I just pale? As you can hear, I have been streaming Halsey's music the entire time today I was getting ready because I was like, you know what, like, their new album is out. We have been on such a journey together these last few years, like, let's get a little refresher. And honestly, Roman Holiday, ooh, still hits. And it's kind of funny because, like, going into it, I was like, I am such a hopeless Fountain Kingdom stan, but maybe I'm still a Badlands stan. Like, I don't know. I really don't know. We love having great music. You know, we're blessed. Speaking of blessed, this album cover, oh my God, I think it's probably one of my favorite album covers that I have seen this year. No notes, no critiques, nothing. I'm just staring at her nipple and I really wanted the vinyl. Like, do I have a record player? No, but did I want that vinyl? Yeah. Did you guys sell it out in like two seconds? Yeah, what was that all about? Chill. I mean, I can still get a little signed cassette and put her by Manic. But like, damn, I wanted that. Going into this album, I'm, how do you say this? I am afraid, I am petrified, because we have no idea what we're getting into. We did learn that, um, you know, she had co-collaborators on this album. I'm gonna be completely honest. I'm not very familiar with their music. So when I say genuinely no idea of the sound, none, none. Cause we didn't even get a single, we've gotten nothing. It was just like, here's my nip, bye, see you in like a month. Okay, so going into it, some of the ones that I am super excited for, I'm super excited for Honey. Am I thinking of like Kehlani? Yeah. I'm not a woman, I'm a god. I want to hear this song and be like, no one can talk to me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I want to be the biggest bitch after hearing that song. And 1121, I'm assuming that's like a date. Maybe it's a whole 929 situation. I don't know. I'm very excited to get into this, very scared, so. We got the trusty speaker. We don't have our nips out. Like, you can probably see my bra right here. Kind of ruins the vibe of this shirt. I'm also trying to get monetized, and YouTube hates women and their bodies, so. Is this video going to be chaotic and not make sense? Yes, I hope you're ready. And with it being called the tradition, is it going to talk about how women are perceived and how we have to feel like we have to act a certain way? Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm going to get on my feminist bullshit in two seconds. Since Nightmare dropped, even I think in that video, you know, when I was when I still did singles, <laughs> what a time, right? I said that like this sound feels like Halsey, like Manic really felt like Ashley, but this is Halsey, like this is Halsey. Their voice sounded so full, like even without that extra harmony, like them just going. I don't even know what the fucking word was. Do I care? No, yo, I need to go buy my tickets. I have been eyeballing, hold on. This alone, like, I don't care, whatever. I'm not even speaking in full sentences. It's the first track. Ashley. Shut up. Okay, <laughs> we're back. But we have tickets, so. So I'm gonna include like a little, a little thing of that at the end, so make sure you stay tuned. Ooh, nice little fade out. Mmm, yum. Oh, don't flow. Don't flow. Fucking hell. It flew. It flew. It flew. Okay. 
way. I think that was a cute like little opening number though. Like I think it really set up what we are going to talk about throughout this album. I don't know. All of this is <gasps> This was in the trailer. Oh no. Oh no. Oh my god, just watching the trailer gave me chills. Why didn't I buy a ticket until now? Am I stupid? Am I okay? I got chills. I got chills. I got chills. Why is this so good? <laughs> is this the album that I need right now? I think it is. Oh my god. What is she even talking about? I don't know. I don't care. Just put it up my ass. I don't care. I love that. Love that. Love that. Pause, bitch. I love that melody. They are sick. <laughs> they are sick and twisted. Who the fuck would choose this? <gasps> you won't even notice me the best. Putting the building blocks down, y'all. We have a nice little foundation. Um, and she's gonna build it up, make a nice roof for me to jump off of. You know? Is that dramatic? I don't care. <laughs> So good. Oh, I'm like, I gotta make sure she's not flowing again. Oh my god. Oh. Hello? Easier than light. Girl, why why do we Oh my god, smooth like butter. That's the rhythm of this album. I haven't seen any feedback yet on this album, so I have no idea how you guys are enjoying it or how you're feeling about it. So far, this is my album. I don't know if this is just like the vibe, the energy I need personally right now, or I just know like this is the album they were meant to make. I don't know. I think it's a combination of all the above, but damn. To end it with all of this is temporary and then to immediately go into the next song, genius, big brained. Easier than lying. Oh my god. I am so overwhelmed. Can you tell? Okay, what is this? Let's go. Girl, what is she saying? <laughs> Bang my head into a wall right now. I want to go driving and crash a car to this song. I'm only whatever you make me and you make me more and more a villain every day. God damn it, we're getting into this. But you don't know, you reap, you sow. Whatever you give to me, from yourself you take. Well, if you're a hater, then hate the creator. Oh, shit! Shit, she said, you hate women for how they are, but yet you're the one that puts us in this box. You're the one that molds us in this way. So if you're hating us, like, hate yourself, boo-boo. You know, like, go to therapy, fix yourself. Don't come to me. <sighs> oh, this is bringing me back to when I was in middle school, and I was so angsty. I was angsty as hell. This is, like... The grown up version of my middle school self, and I'm kind of in love with it. Oh, no, 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 no
Oh my god. Oh my god. Ew. Just the thought of like, do I don't even know how to pronounce this fucking song. Lil Lilith? Lil Masterpiece? I'm just gonna call it that. I don't think it's normal for me to want to be a whore to this song. Is that normal? Is that okay? Why am I pale again? Oh. That effect. Whoa. Don't. And she's gonna laugh. And she's gonna laugh. The audacity. The audacity! Oh my gosh, the huh? audacity! The title Girl is a Gun? There is no way that is not connected to that production choice. So hold on a second. Two minutes and 27 seconds. That fucking laugh. Fuck you. Oh my It also kind of reminds me of a like, um, like a DDM machine. I don't know why. I'm like, this is a song that you would be scrolling through the list and this is the one good one. And you're like, okay, I'm gonna dance to this one. What the hell? Okay, this one might be the first one where I'm like, wait, let me actually process how I feel about it. Hold on. What the fuck? Okay. That one, I'm gonna have to sit with. I'm not gonna lie. Have I ever lied to you guys? No, I'll be honest. I'm gonna have to sit with that one. You asked for this. I don't, I did actually. I did ask for this album and now that I have it, I'm so grateful. I'm very overwhelmed. Okay. Let's listen to this one. Oh God. Whoa, whoa. This, it's been 26 seconds, but this sounds like if you were to take an indie song and like kind of juice up the production a little bit. Ooh, Amber might actually like this one. You better kiss goodnight and give some head. What did he say? Oh. I said what I said, As and always. I'm not changing on it, okay? That. I said what I said. And to say like they're gonna drown you out and then to have the sound sound like it's drowning, you're kidding. Oh my God. Oh, are you gonna flow? Don't flow, don't flow. You asked for this. I wonder if that's gonna set up the rest of the album story-wise. Cause there has to be a song somewhere in this madness. If there is a song referencing more, I'm jumping out the window. Oh my God, our butterfly fly away moment. Y'all remember that song from Hannah Montana? <laughs> Oh, fuck this. 11.21. Oh my God, we're continuing on from that one. Does she give me my concept albums? Yeah, but they're mine. Like when it comes to these concepts and connecting everything, it's just out of this world. It is just ridiculous. Why am I a stan? 
why do I hurt myself? And it's because I get good shit. That's it. Can I get assigned vinyl? No. 1121, this has to be a date, right? And if truth be told, it's scary. Mine and which I Again, melody. I am obsessed with every melody so far I've heard in this album. It's just, like, it's speaking to my soul. And I really want to know what this date is. This has to be a date. It's talking about somebody, so it's something significant. Oh, okay, so on Genius, Halsey explained in an Instagram live stream shortly after the release of If I Can't Have Love, I Want Power that she found out she was pregnant on November 21st, 2020, or 11-21. So this is like a lot just say about more if there is a song referencing more I'm jumping out the window this is a love letter I got chills holy shit I just got chills oh oh my god I, it's like going through my entire body right now you're kidding you're kidding oh it hits it hits Oh my god, the chills just came back. <laughs> I can't do that. Oh, oh, we're going to honey. Oh, honey. Honey, honey. Damn. How am I, wait, 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 how am I supposed to enjoy this? Like, I'm kind of numb. Um, god damn it. Okay. Wow, that was like pop punk perfection. That was good. Oh my god. I want it to drown out my eardrum. Sabotage the things you love the most. Says you do not want this. This is the eighth that says you do not want it. Bad, bad, good, fuck, and why? But it's because of a daddy. But she was No, no, no. She cannot call me out like that. What the fuck? We were having a great time. Why do you need love so badly? Bet it's because of her daddy. This is the voice in the head. So scary. Me, but I do not know me. No, I do not know me. What am I supposed to say? That kind of terrified me, but in the best way. Ah! <sighs> okay. Everyone shut up for this one. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm going to listen to that every day when I get ready. I don't care. I really don't care. Oh my god, that reminds me of the scene in Jennifer's body. I am a god. Oh, see, this is the bad thing about having songs follow up one that like you already know is gonna be your favorite because it's like you're good, but you're not the last one. So I feel like Lighthouse is gonna have to get a second listen on its own. Like, out of order from the album and all that jazz, but... I love that part, though. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Miss Lighthouse, I'm really gonna have to sit on. Oh, she had me thinking one way, but the end... Kind of haunting. Ooh. We're gonna have to sit on her. So the last 
I'm losing my voice. The last track, I have no idea how to pronounce it and I'm not gonna try because I'm gonna offend somebody. So let's see what this is about. Oh my God. Okay, so we have like a little love letter. So significant to me because it's like you can't live without them. So it's like you have to outlive me because I am not. I, I can't do it. Oh, oh, I love love. One day it will happen to me. One day. Oh my god, they're almost done. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's how it ends. That was such a good album. Holy shit. Overall, I mean, there was like a few little spots, barely any though, where I was like, I might have to sit on this. I don't know how I feel, but wow. I mean, considering that she totally changed up the sound, right? Went into a direction that is so different than what the fan base is used to or what the general public is used to. I think that was the best thing that they could have done. Like this album just feels right. I cannot wait to go see the movie, so if you want to see my reaction to that, I'm going to include it at the end of this video. If you don't, bye. Hope you had a great time. Hope you love the album. This is my ranking so far of the album, and I'm assuming this is going to be based off of listening and also the movie visuals. We all know I'm a sucker for a good visual. It can definitely change my ranking as well. But that's it from Ashley of now filming. God, I'm... Okay. This looks insane, but hi! I forgot to do this when I actually went and saw the movie and like looked decent. Um, now I look crazy, I have a mask on, so I figured, let me do this real quick. I'm a professional, hi. Anyway, I'm gonna try to do this without giving away too many spoilers, just in case it does get released in like its full format. I know there's been like some snippets and everything like that being released, but it was so good. Like if you didn't get to see it, I'm so sorry. I know it wasn't. Oh, <gasps> do you hear that? That was my door. Oh my God. I know it wasn't released everywhere. Um, so hopefully like if it does get released, like we can do something on the channel and like revisit it. I think that'd be super cool. But overall, my thought process is going into it. I thought it was going to go one way and then it went a different way. And that kind of like hindered my actual feeling of it. But the more I sit there and think about it, the more I like it. Because sitting there in the beginning, I was kind of confused because it's one of those things where like at the end, it ties everything back together. So the first part of it, I was kind of like, what is happening? But once it hit like the middle section and like the story really started to like hit in, I was like, oh my God, I'm here. Like I'm awake, <laughs> I'm seeing the vision and the vision is beautiful the story was just so like well thought out and it was so cool to see it like with the music and how it really translates into her life but like a dramatic storytelling as well there were so many parts that stood out to me again without trying to spoil it um there was like a co-star I guess you could say that um stuck out to me she was like in this little hut looking thing I thought she was a witch the first time we saw her with her eyes the way that they were and like the bottles that were around, I was like, oh my God, we're gonna cast a spell, yes. I still don't quite understand like what her role was or I hope this isn't a spoiler, but there's like essentially two Halseys in this universe. I call it light Halsey and like dark Halsey. If y'all who have brain cells and understand everything can tell me like who the dark Halsey represented, that'd be great. Cause at first I thought it was like, okay, that represents like, the demons and like the past and the mistakes and everything but then at the end I realized that that probably wasn't correct. The end also pissed me off because I was like this is not very girl boss. <laughs> this is not what I wanted but yet you ask Amber like because Amber went with me and you ask her what her official review is that's her review girl boss. And I'm like okay. <laughs> the makeup was also stunning and from the credits, I believe Halsey did do all of the makeup. What can she not do at this point? I don't know. And then I believe the costuming was done by La Roach, who is a stylist for Zendaya. So 
If you're familiar with Zendaya's red carpet looks and you already know the greatness that took place, there was one dress that like really stuck out to me. It was like, it had like flowers and stuff on it. Oh, it was so pretty. Like, oh, it was all just very pretty. And I guess some of the like songs that really stuck out to me, I can't remember which one it was when she was like in the bath. There was a lot of boobs. Damn. I wasn't expecting to see so many boobs, but there were boobs. Halsey's boobs look great, by the way. Like, if I was to ever get a boob job, is this weird to say? But if I was to ever get a boob job, I would take a photo of her boobs and be like, this is what I want. Is that too much to say? That's kind of weird. I should probably cut that out. <laughs> but yeah, overall, it was just like, it was really stunning. It was just really cool to see. And something that really stuck out to me personally, my hair is a disaster, God. Um, being in the theater, first of all, was kind of scared with COVID because that's still a thing, especially in Arizona, it's getting bad again. But there were so many different ages of people that were there to see the film. It was so cool to really see like how diverse the fandom is. Like I literally was sitting next to a grown man. Like, hi, you can be my dad. <laughs> But yeah, really, if um, anything gets released in the future, we can definitely like revisit it and watch it together. I think that'd be so fun. But I would love to hear your guys' opinions on the film. And please explain to me like everything about it because I feel like there's a lot that I did miss. So that's it for me. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. And um, yeah, I guess I'll see you in the next one. I promise I'll look better. That's what the mask is for. <laughs> All right. Bye.